He's been good all season long. And now, Mookie Betts. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Off the afternoon for the Dodgers. The right fielder, Mookie Betts. First delivery to him. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. Dan DeRoe, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, man, nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one, DeRoe. After this one, they go on the road for a seven-game road trip, so big to get this win here today. Yeah, last game in front of the home folks before you go out for a week. This is a big one. They're going to get it done. Altogether, a fine afternoon for baseball. 66 degrees, the game time temperature. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there, but he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Wong is there, throws in time, and that's out number one. Time now good. to check out the lineup for Justin. the visiting Dodgers. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. Now to bat, Justin Turner. And check out the recent numbers. Clearly providing a lot of thump at the plate right now. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball just inside. Lifetime against this pitcher. Small sample, a perfect one for one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. 
in for a strike it's one and one. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it though, Dan. You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill you. Here's the one and two delivery. Lofted in the air out toward right center. In there, a base hit. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. You try to bust him in, D. Rowe, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Here's Corey Seager. Line drive, base hit to right. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that, that extends cool. his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Cody Bellinger at the plate now, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Five homers and 11 RBIs. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at-bat. It's 0-2 now. Guess where he's going with this next pitch? Probably a little further outside. See if the fish are still biting. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tied. Here now is Will Smith. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. The average entering play at 301. Seven homers and 21 driven in. He set the 0-1. Oh, it has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. Ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. A pause and the 0 2. Now that's popped up. On the first, and the Dodgers come up with nothing as that ends the inning. Dodgers strand a couple. Now it's the Brew Crew's turn in a scoreless ball game. Julio Arias, a Mexican-born lefty, is the man on the mound in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. and one delivery fastball called for strike two good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive fouled away The next 0 2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on the first in time, one away. Batting second. And, and with that, time man. to take a glance at the starting nine for these Brewers. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? You know, I think everyone should keep an eye on Christian Yelich. He's really swung the bat well against left-handed pitchers so far this season. He's hitting over 300 against southpaws, and he's facing another one of those today. I'm sure he's excited to hit in this one. Now one down with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Colton Wong. First pitch of the A.B. now. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball here, 0-1. 
And the pitch. Trying to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Fouled off. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Batting third, the left fielder, Christian Yelich. And here's Christian Yelich now. In past meetings with Julio Urias, he's hitless in six tries. From the stretch. The 0 1. A bouncer to the left side. Gloved by Turner. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up A.J. Pollock. A.J. Pollock. Now the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Behind 0-2 now. Narvaez is over to take a look at it. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Now here it comes. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Milwaukee Brewers. And let's take a look at Travis Shaw. The calling card's the bat. Left-handed power, the ability to manipulate both gaps, but also a very adequate, very underrated defender on both corners, both first and third. Next up is Max Muncy as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 0-1 pitch. Pitch saws him off as this one's lifted in the air. Urias has a play. Two down. Batting eight. The second baseman, Chris Taylor. Now at the plate, Chris Taylor for his career in this matchup. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. First pitch on its way. Nope. Ball one, no the 1 0 is looked Whoa, at for ball down. number two. No score here as we play inning number two. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater. Middle cut right there. In a fastball count, he's going to have to turn it up a notch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Dodgers down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez. He 
He's set and the pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Comes set and the 0 1. Hit on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly. And that's the first out. Batting fifth. No hey, let's fielders. take a look at the Dodgers on, on defense. And we get to watch one of the best right fielders in the game today. He brought home gold last year. We know of right fielder profiles as a huge offensive producer. But this guy covers a ton of ground all the way to the foul line with a strong throwing arm. Mm -hmm. So here is Abisayo Garcia, and it's fouled away. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. Three homers, 10 RBIs. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Hard ground ball to third. Throw gets him, two down. Batting six, the shortstop, Luis Urias. Two down, no one on base. And stepping into the box will be Luis Urias. First pitch on the way. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The relay, and now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Batting seven, the catcher, Manny Pena. To the plate now, Manny Pena, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Nero, Danny, this L.A. Dodger ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. They enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, Matty, they played a heck of a game first game of this series and then dropped the last two, not playing really good baseball. They have to find a way to win this one today. No doubt about it, Nero. The, 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 there's such a thing as a good series by winning the last one and getting a split in the four-game set. That's exactly what they would like to do today to get some momentum going into the next series. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Oh, he can't track it down as this ball falls. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The third baseman. Well, he was Bradley. almost out of the inning. Did the last two batters oh. showed him that you can't lose focus on the mound, even if you get two quick outs. Back to back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from you. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. 281 the average entering play. Five homers and 16 RBIs. Comes set. The 0-1. Line towards center field. That gets down, and the inning will continue. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Batting done. That will drive no a pitcher. pitching coach crazy. He has the hitter down 0-2 in the count, and instead of making him chase at something off the plate, he grooves one that's driven down the line for a run scoring double. Have to make better pitches on an 0-2 count. Into the box, Josh Lindblom, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Shaw stands at second with two gone. Lifted down the line in left. And that's going to land foul. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself. 
and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. And that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. The center fielder, number six, Lorenzo. In now is Lorenzo Cain, and he fouls this one off. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home. And that one yanked just foul. Three runs already home here. And it's nope. one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Here comes the 1 2. Down the left field line and deep. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a blooper down the right field line. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Wow, his manager must have a lot of faith in him. And I'm not sure why. He's given up five hits in this Whoa. inning alone. And it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. The runner from first crosses the plate. Now a 5-0 lead. They just keep pouring now it on this inning. That's five field. runs so far, yeah. and they're not finished yet. They've been teeing no off on everything they see, and they're showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. A ball and a strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. The one two fouled away. The next one two pitch. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Bellinger is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Nine men come to the Ready now is Julio Arias. Austin Barnes will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 15, Austin Barnes. He's set. Here it comes. Barnes swings and throws from the right side and stands at five foot ten. He was a ninth round pick back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The batter, the right fielder, Luke Bell. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Shaw fields it cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Now battling the third baseman, Justin Turner. Next to dig in, Justin Turner. He singled in his first A.B. 
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in for a base hit. His second in as many trips to the plate. So he's aboard with his second hit of the afternoon so far as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see right there, he's up near the top in the National League, currently third best. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. One for one with a single so far. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Think he held up in time but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. Turner, the runner at first with two gone. Here's a little chopper up the middle, scooped up. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Dodgers. Back here in Milwaukee as we check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Looking at the numbers, they currently have four hits coming from at-bats where they were behind in the count. That indicates that these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and making it very difficult for the opposition to get them out. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Scott Alexander is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Here's the first pitch. Popped up. Turner trying to get there, and this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. Popped him up. Seeger over to his right. One down. Now batting. Right fielder, Avisahir Garcia. So the next to bat will be Avisail Garcia. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. One out, nobody on. And it's 0 2 to Avisail Garcia. Hey, this pitcher's being super aggressive, pounding the strike zone five times in a row, leaving nothing to the imagination right here. This offensive player's got to be on the attack. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. There's a swing and a drive. Get up! Get up! Get out of here! Go! A solo home run here from Avisail Garcia. Fourth home run for him on the season. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. This is just one of those parks where the ball seems to jump off the bat a lot more during the day. This is the first one of the day, but we might see a few more before this one's over. Now that and that'll bring forth Luis stop. Urias. Luis. No balls in one strike. Urias. Bases are empty, one man out. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Line towards center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old that's smile on his face. Nine. He knows he has a 6-1 lead here in the early going to work, but you can't let that take away your edge, though. At the plate, Manny Pena, as he'll take a look at ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate.
the 1 0. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Pollock at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, third baseman, Travis. Striding in Shaw. is Travis Shaw. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Now Watch pass. yourself. You're Number missing over the now. heart of the plate. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He collected a base hit his first time up. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. 0 and 2. Lifted down the line and left. Pollock on the run, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now another 0 2. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the top of inning number four. The Brewers lead this one eight to nothing. Set for the start. Part of the year, Edwin Rios will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number 43. Edwin Rio. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball one. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey. Taken, but called a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Here comes the one, two. He is swung hey. on and missed strike three. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys yeah. because... Once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. First pitch on its way. A bouncer to the left side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the he things did. you want to do, D. Rose, you have to oh. try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Stepping in now, A.J. Pollock. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. 0. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-0. That's a ball. Two balls, no play. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. A double play ball to second. Four to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. 
the bat. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play nice. that time. You see the off-balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He pulls this one into right. Garcia will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for L.A. Still 8 nothing. Gavin Lux is into the ball game now as he assumes duties in center field. Now playing center field. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Cain. He's one for two in this one. This is when you got to get selfish. You cannot get complacent or overconfident right here. These days don't happen often. When you got your foot on the accelerator and the entire offense is feeling pretty good, get greedy and keep getting knocks and putting pressure on the defense. A one and one count to the Brewers leadoff man. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. The one two. This is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. He put up a up pretty good battle the at the plate right there. They finally the get him baseman. on a one and two pitch, no but chance. you could see that he wasn't laying down oh. without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Colton Wong will stand in oh, as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1 0. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Eight runs, nine hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Again, another foul ball. A one two down the third baseline and that gets through for a one out base hit the throw into second he just smoked this ball right down the line take a look here well, hard to Number tell if it was fair or foul in real time but you can see it flies right yeah, over the bag ump was all over it and made a great call In is Christian Yelich as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the 0 1. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Wong, the runner at second with one away. And another foul ball. One and two for Christian Yelich. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here he comes again. One, two. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that the fastball was way number behind 10. him when the swing oh, came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate now, Narvaez... He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as also on the play, a run comes across to score. 
of the sun. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. One for two in the ball game thus far. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Brewers forced to settle for one. We played four full. Brewers are out in front, nine to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right, Heidi, thank you. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Chris Taylor. Chris now here it comes and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two looking to punch him out again the pitch swung on in the dirt for the third strike Pena gathers and he makes the throw to first. Taylor is retired and there's one away. Jacob Amaya will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 52. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Wong onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The That's exactly the what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. Yeah. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. On a line, that's a base hit. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series, and he's now one bad. of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, and some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. Into the box now, Justin Turner, as he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Hey, I like this right here. Offense putting a little bit of pressure right here on the defense. This game is not over yet. And if somebody can catch a gap or maybe hit one out, we got a chance to get back in this ball game. We might have something here. Here's Corey Seager. As he grounds one briskly to short. And the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Strand a couple. They're looking up at a 9 nothing deficit. Tony Gonsolin gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Lifted in the air to right field. Betts has a read on it. One away. The Final line there for the, the Dodgers starting pitcher Manny. and he'll likely do his best to forget about today. Boy this one got ugly early. They were looking to get some innings out of the starting rotation. That didn't happen in this one lasting only two innings. A lot of outs yet to get from this bullpen. First pitch on the way. Manny Pena is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. 
I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Into the windup and the pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually, pitching is all about mixing the pitches bat. and location. The third but he threw that all out the Rabbit. window to get that strikeout. He offered oh. the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. And he hits it hard to the right side. Taylor's got it. Throw on to Muncie gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. On in order of the Brewers, but they'll live with it. A nine to nothing lead. The center fielder, number nine, Gavin Lux. From the stretch, Gavin Lux is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Lux. Originally from the Badger state of Wisconsin. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. And a fastball in there for a strike one and one. Started to go around there looked like he held up in time. No strike two says the third base umpire. The one two and he popped him up and that's going to land foul. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Swing and a soft liner. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. All right, so let's turn to show track for a more in-depth look at that one. Good reaction, great range, and a nice backhanded stop. And the jump throw with a lock behind it all the way across the infield for the out. The numbers don't lie, and that was pretty spectacular. Standing in now, Will Smith. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Soft liner to the right side, and that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. It's like magic or something. He's given up a boatload of hits, but they haven't been able to chase a runner home. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's been pitching from the stretch the entire game, but somehow he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. Into the box, A.J. Pollock. As he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity okay. they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dio? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through on this one. Max Muncy comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Smith at second. Pollock is over at first with one away. Yeah. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 2. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. The 0 2 delivery. Swing and a line drive. 
And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with but one away. Second base. Boy, this looked like it could have been a quick inning, get the first out, and then boom, 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 three singles. All of a sudden, they're loaded with one out. Yeah, this is execution at its best right here. One out. He's still got double play in order. If he can make a pitch, he can get out of it. If he doesn't, crooked number goes up. Chris Taylor is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. No runs, nine hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Taylor behind 0-2 the count. Just way too patient in this situation. With the bases loaded like this, this is your chance to be the hero. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing appeal, Your hitters rarely please. feel like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up Number there by the first base umpire. But Zach. looking at it, it's Rex. hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Zach Rex is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. The batting average clearly not where he wants it to be. One home run and seven driven in. Oh and one here it comes and a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count could be something they have to think about set to deliver on nothing in two here it comes. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0 and two with the bases loaded now we'll see if he can finish it off. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Two out, bases loaded. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. One run scores. And the second runner's going to hold over at third, so a run scores, and they remain now loaded that. here with two Wait, away. Boy, talking about picking yeah. your teammate up after that strikeout, D. Rowe. Big, big, and I mean big, two out RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. Mookie Betts stands in as he looks at ball one here. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Looking to minimize the damage here. Two balls and a strike. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left hander started to throw out there. Now the 2 1 pitch. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. And a shake of the head is at the one run here on four hits, no errors, and three men left stranded. Keston Hiura is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Joe Kelly gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And there's one down now. And with one gone in the inning, let's give you a look at the current standings in the National League West entering play as you see where the Dodgers find themselves in the division race.
Now into the box, Lorenzo Cain. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. He's set and the pitch. Hey. One out, nobody on. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. High and deep down the left field line. The next 0 2. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Betts has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting second baseman. Colton. Here's Colton Wong now. Oh. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly. He's one for four. Now the first pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Sinker misses and it's 1 and 2 now. Fouled off. Here's another one, two. Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. Three up, three down for Milwaukee, but they still hold a commanding nine to one lead. Your Brett Anderson please. is on to now pitch from the bullpen forward. now to start inning number seven. Number 25, Brett. Anderson. Seventh inning ready to roll. And digging in at the play will be Justin Turner. The third baseman. And Justin now the first pitch. Turner. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. And I mean, obviously, this guy is built to play in the, the daytime. Bat. Four for four, you know he's seeing it good right now. These are the days that you remember for a long time. At the plate, Corey Seager. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. In there and he's ahead 0 2 now. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended do you think. Yeah I think that's the idea Matt but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. 0 oh, and 2, here it comes. Turner aboard here at first with nobody out. Line hard to center field. King is there and he has it for the first down. The center fielder, number 9, Gavin. Lux. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Gavin Lux. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. 
Runner at first here, one man out. Two balls and a strike. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. He's set. Here's the 2 2. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Struck Three. him out. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. Oh, it's not a great ball. angle, and everything the happens catcher. so quickly, really? so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Will Smith is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Oh. A runner on first with two away. And this catches the outside corner strike one. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Here it comes on one and one. Hit hard back up the middle. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, d -Row. Three for four, not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. A.J. Pollock stands in as he looks at a called strike. Two men are on with two men out. Liner towards second. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be. Now, and up next, the sweet swing and left handed hitting outfielder Christian Yelich. In there at the knees, strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. A three and one count to the Brewers left fielder. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. And there's one away. Now batting the first baseman. Omar. Narvaez. So now into the box is Omar Narvaez. Now the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Hit to first. He's got it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The bat. The right field. Of the side here. Garcia. Next to hit, Avisail Garcia. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. The 0 1 on its way. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is through into right field for a single. Hey, guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The batter obviously timed the first one. Second one, he was not going to let go. Good wood on that one, able to drive it for a base hit. to the plate now Luis Urias hit in the air down the right field line on the move is Betts he's there to track it down and that'll end the inning.
Brewers strand one, but they still hold a commanding nine to one lead. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Max Muncy. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. The 1 0. Is laid off for ball two. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. Strike called, 2 and 1. Popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. That's lifted the other way out to left. Yelich is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter number three, second baseman, Chris Taylor. And now here is Chris Taylor. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Ball two now. Bases are empty. One man out. Three and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And he'll just watch the cut fastball here for strike one, three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. And stepping in, Joe Kelly. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Owen won the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. Has a look. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The so the batting order turns over now and set to go. Mookie yeah. Betts. He's got one hit and four at bats. He's set. Here it comes. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Still no balls and two strikes. Another 0 2 home. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Wong. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is. Digging in now for the Brewers, Manny Pena. He'll lead things off the as Brewers. they look to perhaps build the on an already sizable Manny. lead. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Lifted down the line and left. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Next to stand in is Travis Shaw. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly. He's one for two. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and that's the second out. Into the box, Brett Anderson. 
Anderson. Pitch on the way. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. And that misses one and one. Here it comes. Grounded to first. He's right there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Gone in order are the Brewers, but they still hold a commanding nine to one lead. Now to the plate, Justin Turner starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Swings through it for strike number two. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Again, a 1 2. Slow little grounder left side. Shaw has it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now it'll be Corey Seeger. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Pitch on the way. Called a strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Ground ball right side. Fielded cleanly. Flip will come to Anderson covering as they get the out at first. The batter will be Gavin Lux. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. A ball and a strike. And this will be fouled away. And now this crowd right around 34,000 fans comes to their feet. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Throw to first here in time for the final out, and the Brewers have made it a memorable weekend. They take three out of four as this ball game is over. Nine to one is the way this one ends. Milwaukee took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Josh Lindblom wins his third of the season. Julio Arias only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. Brett Anderson takes the rare three-inning save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.